Reporter John Carl asked Obama a question at his press conference that, in my mind, highlights everything that's wrong with the media today. So let's listen, and then I'll explain why this is so bad. And as you're about to see, Obama's answer is also infuriating. Hey, Mr. President, uh, Mitch McConnell's been the Republican leader for six years, as long as you've been president. But his office tells me that he's only met with you one-on-one -on -one once or twice during that entire six-year period. So I'm wondering, as somebody who came to Washington promising to end the hyper-partisanship that was here long before you became president, but it's gotten worse since you got here, was it a mistake for you to do so little to develop relationships with Republicans in Congress? I think that um, every day I'm asking myself, are there some things I can do better? Uh, and yeah, I'm going to keep on asking that every single day. I, the, the fact is that most of my interactions with members of Congress have been cordial and they've been uh, constructive. If I was John Carl's employer, I would fire him after that question. Because it is the least researched question in the history of media. So stop and think about this. He's asking Obama, do you regret not reaching out to Republicans enough? Let's take a look at the facts. The Republicans broke the filibuster record under Obama. The Republicans tried to repeal his health care law 54 times. Congress passed the least number of bills that they have in recorded history. Boehner refused meetings with Obama multiple times, and they even said they were going to sue him. Not to mention, Obama did compromise on health care, foreign policy, taxes, the stimulus, minimum wage, the budget, and the list goes on and on and on. So the question is simply a special needs question. But Obama's answer may be even worse. Because why did you not explain that? I don't understand. It's like his strategists and the people in his administration told him, Mr. President, always keep cool, always deflect, always uh, be above the fray and take the high ground and uh, be very calm and be very professorial. But that's not what this moment calls for. This moment calls for correcting the record and getting the facts out there. And I know what uh, these establishment Democrats always say. Uh, it's okay, people, people know that anyway, so for him to bring it up, it would look petty. So it's better that he answers the way he did. Oh, really? It is? Then why did the Democrats just get absolutely walloped in this last election? Maybe it's because the centrist, corporatist, establishment Democrats tried your guy's strategy, that same move, and it didn't work. Because she didn't educate people. They didn't know the facts. They didn't know the reality. They didn't get it that it's the Republicans who need to work with the Democrats, not vice versa. The Republicans are the ones who are intrans intransigent and obstructionist. So you need to point this out. You need to explain the facts. Just like they say in a court of law, truth is always uh, a defense. And uh, also, I just don't believe what John Carl said. He goes, oh, I spoke to uh, Mitch McConnell's people, and they say that you've only reached out to him like once or twice. Okay, but if you talk to Mitch McConnell's people, Obama's also the most liberal president in American history. That doesn't make what they fucking say true! But again, this is the, the, the false equivalence game, the fake neutrality game. Like, well, they say, the Republicans say that it's Obama who's not willing to work with them. And the Democrats say it's, it's uh, the Republicans not willing to work with them. There you go, that's what both sides say. Anyway, cut to commercial, moving on. No, 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 no. Your job in the media is to give us the facts. Your job is to do the research and ask questions based off the reality, not to fall into the trap of lying and doing the dirty work for the Republicans by pretending like Obama hasn't reached out to the Republicans. And he didn't even... Look, another reason why that's a sleazy, dirty thing to say uh, is, oh, he only uh, called Mitch McConnell a few times. Okay, well, how many... Or, no, the, what do you, what'd they say? Reach out? I don't even know the terminology they used. But uh, did, does that include everything? How many emails did they send each other? 
How many uh, phone calls did they send to each other? How many text messages did they, did they send to each other? I'm sure Obama's been trying to uh, talk to them for a very long time because on every piece of legislation since he's been in office, he's given uh, so much to the Republicans. Uh, on every single bill, he's moved in their direction from the beginning. It's not like he even staked out the progressive position to begin with. He went into the debate saying, okay, let me compromise from the beginning. So it's just... The media's job is supposed to be to uh, give the facts, give the information, give the data, educate people. You learn about what's happening and you tell the American people. But when you don't do that and you buy into the framework of the right every time, which is a false framework, you're hurting the country. You're hurting the country by giving them this misimpression that Obama is somehow super liberal and he refuses to listen to the right wing. I fucking wish that was the case, but it's not the case, but he's still painted like that, which is totally unfair.